Sam has, has the first couple of days in, in Joburg been a, a, as a group? Yeah, it's been good. It's um, you know, a nice small trip for a, for a Sunday compared to, to, to usual. Um, we're able to get a lot of recovery work in that first 24 hours or so. And then uh, yesterday, some you know, a good look at um, sort of opportunities missed and, and areas to get better at. Uh, then we've come out here today and I thought we had a, a pretty sharp training run. We're starting to put a lot of those things in and making improvements really, so it's been a good few days. Has there had to be a few honest conversations maybe, uh, particularly among the, the leadership group after the first test? Yep, um, but I think that, that feels like that's always the case in this team. Um, you know, you can be brutally honest um, with each other and it's never it's never personal, it's just about trying to get better. Um, and sometimes it takes, you know, we're learning off an individual's error um, so that the team can get better as a whole. How important is, is or extra significance does the captaincy and the, and the leadership as, as a whole, I suppose, take on in a week like this? Oh, look, I think it's, it's always hugely important. Um, the whole role of the leadership group's massively important and um, yeah, I've been really stoked with the way we've been operating off the pitch. Um, yeah, so we can continue and, and keep working hard. I think although we're obviously not happy and we're disappointed with the results side of things, um, it's not through a lack of trying or effort um, or the work that's going on during the week. Um, so on that side of things, like it's a, it's, a, it's a good camp to be involved in because everyone's you know, the attitude of like I say, couldn't ask for anything more in that regard. Um, the frustrating part is that it's not quite translating to the field yet, but um, if there's one thing I know, like, as long as we're putting all the right steps in terms of the preparation, um, we'll get there and it'll come. Are you, what are your recollections of Alice Park, Sam, in terms of the, the atmosphere and uh, I guess the challenge of playing there? I remember the first time there is the All Blacks. Um, they flew the plane over nice and low. Uh, it's a, it's a vivid memory, but just that it's uh, well, it's got another old thirty odd thousand than last week. Um, we're up slightly higher, so there's a wee bit thinner. Uh, and we were driving in, and um, yeah, the fans are slapping on the bus and making plenty of noise. So it's um, it's a hostile environment, but um, I think we, we quite like playing in places like this that really really test you. Um, yeah, I think I've said it before. I might have said it on the weekend. It sort of feels like it's. Yeah, the 15 out there versus uh, the 15 spring box plus the, the whole crowd, so it's uh, they were massive challenges. Sabi, how much uh, do you expect the spring box to pretty much stick to, to, to what they did in the and uh, knowing that they're pretty much going to be doing the same stuff, how do you, how do you prepare for that uh, differently or follow another approach? Yeah, look, that, um, I think it's been said a few times, they, they know their game really well and they execute it extremely well, so, um, and I mean, I think there's 15 odd contestable kicks, and we only took five of them. So, um, yeah, they had great success in that area. I would expect them to to keep going there. Um, and then again, they had good success um, at the breakdown. So, we expect them to, to roll out a lot of the same stuff. But it would be a little bit naive if they weren't looking for other opportunities and, and would have seen some stuff in the tape to to exploit us in different areas. So, um, we just got to prepare the best we can and. Um, yeah, there's a, certainly always a focus on the opposition, but there's um, probably more of a focus often on, on what we can control in, in our part of our game. Sam, you lost the kind of the intensity and the pressure battle against them in our spray. They seem to just have that little bit of extra on you and were able to, to squeeze a bit. I mean, how, do you turn, how important is it that you turn that around and maybe, maybe flip, the, flip it there? Yeah, I don't know about the intensity battle. I thought like we're good at good intensity, but I agree with the the pressure and like key moments. Um, they were able to sort of flip momentum, or when we were trying to get it, um, that nullify it. Um, some of those were controllable, like from our point of view. I think we had um, five penalties in a row in the first half, and as a result, we hardly had a crack at them. Um, so trying to eliminate those from our game will, will help. Um, but absolutely, oh, that's the that's the game of Test match rugby, creating pressure, intensity, and, and momentum. So, um, you know, it's all very, all very well having one good moment. It's about following it up with another good moment and another good moment. Is it kind of a game where you, I don't know? I mean, you know, all the anxiety that's building, all the, all the you know, all the outside noise and all that. Is it one where you almost kind of not a free swing, but you got nothing to lose? You know, uh, 
No, nah, I've not seen it that way at all. Um, like there's a trophy on the line. Um, we're playing at Alice Park and we're, we're desperate to want to improve and put out better performances than we are. So there's um, as much on the line as there's ever been. Sam, how difficult is it um, for you personally? Obviously there's, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot on the line on Saturday and, and not just for you but for other people as well. How difficult is it not to start thinking too much about the outcome? Mm -hmm. and, and just stay focused on the process. Yeah, good question. Um, but when, when we're in camp like this, the the weeks are so structured and everything is is focused around looking at ways to get better and improve. And when you're constantly got that mindset to to look and, and find areas to get better at, um, you sort of don't allow yourself. Or if you do find yourself starting creeping or thinking about things like that, you just, you, you know you check yourself and pull yourself back to focus on what's important and what you can control. Um, just put all the energy and, and focus into that because um, I think we we all know within the team and within professional sport if you start focusing on the outcome, um, it's always the, the process and the little steps um, that go into that that, it, that get the outcome you're after. So no point doing it the other way around.